Hi, welcome to Art Talent. I'm Juan Carlos Vera. I've been teaching classical guitar at Miami Dade College for the past 28 years. You just heard Rafael Padron, brilliant guitarist and head of the classical guitar department at the University of Miami, founder of the Florida Guitar Foundation organization. And he, he's uh, here with us, and we're going to be talking about the GFA in a moment, Guitar Foundation of America competition. Welcome, Rafael. Thank you very much. Brilliant playing. Your playing is unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for uh, taking an interest in the students from Miami Dade College who are uh, you, you're recruiting uh, to UM, uh, such as uh, Bobby Bush, for example. And, and I, I want to tell you, I really look forward yeah. to uh, UM being an option for Miami Dade uh, College students and, uh, and your continued support. Of course. I mean, uh, through the years, since I am st I st started in the University of Miami, I'm, I have a students, um, actually, Federico Bonacosa, who was teaching there, and he uh, presents me and, and send on my way the students mm -hmm. from, uh, from the Miami Dade Community College, which is, the level was very, very good, and it was a very, a pleasure to work with th those students. Yeah, that's great, for that's sure. great. Now, at the University of Miami, you've managed to turn around that program uh, very quickly to the point that uh, this is a place now where many students want to attend. Congratulations well, thank on that. Thank you, it, it takes time. It takes time and uh, a lot of hard work. How long have you been? Uh, so uh, I've been there since uh, 2013, so it's been like almost six years. Almost six years. Six years. And also your career has uh, really taken off in wow. the last few years. Mm -hmm. uh, you now have uh, your concertizing, you have uh, recordings. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, of course, I mean, I'm, you know, as an artist, we need to do so many things at the same time. We need to spare the time in between teaching, uh, promoting yourself, um, practice a new repertoire, uh, recording a new CD when you when you can. How do you manage all of that? Well, okay, well, this is time. This is a time consuming, and I, I try to do my my to organize myself. Are you teaching those. full time at UM? I'm teaching full time, and then, and I, then you know, you I, I and then I have a student. I say you have a lot of energy. Because then you practice four hours after you teach for so the whole day. you practice four hours every day? Yes. I mean, I try to. Yeah. When I have a, a, to do things, I mean, the goals is the most important thing. And you're recording uh, projects? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to record a CD now okay. from Brower's, uh, Brower. Leo Brower's music. Because it's Some of the music, music, yeah. All yeah. the music. Are you uh, performing at the GFA? Um, we'll talk in a, in a moment about the GFA competition. Yes, Are actually, I, yes, I will be performing Tuesday morning at 11. Uh, what is uh, the date? Uh, is um, the June 18th. June 18th. June 18th. Uh, I will be um, sharing the, the with the violin and guitar duo. Which repertoire are you? I'm um, Leo Brower. Leo Brower. This is the, 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 the Cuban. Uh, if you want to hear the CD mm -hmm. before it comes out, I mean, yes, you got, you're uh, gonna you're gonna, to. you're gonna listen to the, the program that I'm going to perform that day. Now we want to talk about the GFA, the Guitar Foundation of America, uh, which is yeah. which you've brought to uh, to Miami. Uh, what is the GFA uh, competition? Uh, yeah. Explain to. to I mean, uh, we. I mean, besides that, I mean, Federico Mosgrove, who is my my colleague and at this university, he he did a, an amazing job to bring the, the GFA. It was a teamwork. I mean, we we work. I take care of things in the school, and he take care of things on logistic and how to build it things and things to the teamwork and all, all the person that donate money and uh, it was very important for us to how have the support. How did the idea originate of uh, okay, bringing the, the GFA to, uh, to Miami and to the University of Miami? Yeah, I mean, I mean since, uh, I, since I remember in 2008, I tried to bring the GFA and it was impossible at that time because, um, you know, it was not the right time, that's all. But uh, then we started working and we had the Florida Guitar Foundation, mm -hmm. as you know. We Bring um, amazing artists, and, and then you, you started that. With we start Federico? with that. Yeah, we start. Yes, and it's you've been uh, bringing uh, internationally International, known the top, top, top uh, every year? players. Yeah, uh, every single. I mean, we have four concerts every year, and from there we start uh, thinking. Well, that would be a great idea if we can bring the GFA and have the the, my, the guitar community of, of South Florida, you know, have this. For and the third time, because it's been so long. Since 2002 was the last one. Yes, exactly. Carlos Molina, I believe, yeah. Uh, yeah. did it at Miami yes. College. The, uh, and what is the actual uh, competition? 
uh, okay. yeah. the segment of the, of the GFA? Lately, I mean, in the last years, they have spread a little bit. They have a youth competition, mm -hmm. which is, um, I, I believe, is from 14 to 18 years old. Mm -hmm. And then they have uh, the, um, the artist competition, which is the, the, the top, the one that get the, the, um, the more recognition, I, I would say. And then this is another competition, um, a chamber music competition, mm -hmm. which is uh, they how added uh, lately. How high is the level that audiences can expect to see from the, uh, the uh, performers who are uh, competing well, at the GFA? Something that I can make, it's like a Super Bowl having a Super Bowl in, in the University of Miami uh, talking about guitar. Mm -hmm. This is the same comparison. I mean, the top, I mean, the artists that are coming are tops. Top artists. And, and, the and the students from uh, how many countries in the world are students yeah, coming to uh, compete yeah, at the GFA? Uh, 40 countries, I believe. 40 countries? Yeah, yeah, yeah what I heard. Yeah. So many, I mean, people from Europe, from, well, from many countries, some Euro, uh, China. So audiences can expect to uh, yeah. see some of the top, top. young uh, performers, performers in the world, in the world, who are for traveling, sure. yes, for for, sure. uh, for this uh, competition. Uh, We're expecting six hundred people. So six hundred people. Uh, where where are, are uh, uh, those who are interested in uh, attending? Uh, are the the competitions free? Are they open to the public? Are there are, can they buy tickets? Well, they have to buy tickets. Um, passing tickets, uh, you can buy the, the whole the whole event, mm -hmm. which is uh, I don't know the prices in my mind. You can buy a daily pass, pass uh -huh. and you can pa um, um, buy three days pass, I believe. How long will the this is a website. take? This is a website uh -huh. that you can get the uh, Guitar Foundation we'll, we'll of America put it on the dot uh, org. We'll, we'll put and, it on uh, the and that would be all the information. And, and how long will the uh, competition last? I mean... The, uh, is it a few days? Is it a yes, week Yes, a long? few days. Is it, no, it's a week long. A week I mean long. We are starting on um, June 17th mm -hmm. through... Um, June 22nd, so that would be the, the whole event. We have three mm -hmm. concerts every day, uh, one at 11, one at 4, and one at night. Mm -hmm. And the competition will be in the last three days. Uh, with the, with the, and also we have the Hall of Fame, which is very important. It's a pleasure for me to, um, for me being a host, to have uh, my former teacher and my mm -hmm. friend and my everything. Right, uh, Manuel Barreco, Manuel the, that Barreco, I yes. admire a lot. So yes, we, we he will be receiving the Hall of Fame. Uh, excellent, excellent. Yeah, that will be another thing that we'll be so excited about. Very good, and um, we'll be back in a moment. We're going to uh, watch again uh, Rafael Padron in another brilliant performance, and we'll be back in a moment. Be creative, be a hero, be the solution, be connected, be innovative, be global, be successful, be you, be MDC, be Miami-Dade College.
Welcome back. I'm Juan Carlos Vera. I'm joined today by the head of the classical guitar department at the University of Miami and brilliant guitarist, Rafael Padron. Rafael, be, before we left, uh, you were mentioning Manuel Barroco, whom we've had here several times yeah. on the show, and you studied with him. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Yeah, definitely. Studying with Manuel was a, a privilege. I mean, I, I came here in 1998 to the United States. I didn't know how to speak English, and, and I was quite already mature. <laughs> the same thing happened to Manuel Barroco. Yes, he well, was so, but he was a little bit <laughs> younger than me at that time, <laughs> <laughs> I believe. Uh, and so, um, and, and then I, I had the opportunity to, to study with him. It was a dream come through. I mean, it was amazing. And I, I remember a friend of mine called me and said, do you want to study with Manuel? <laughs> do, you, do, do you have that possibility in mind? I said, how well and known was uh, Manuel uh, in, in Cuba? Cuba? Wow, Manuel is very well known. Mm -hmm. He's a very well known. All his recordings from the Suite uh, Española, uh, all of all of um, uh, Rodrigo pieces, they were like you know like. Yeah, and of course Manuel has had an influence, to follow, yeah. an influence that you can hear almost in any recording from yes, any player. Yes. And so that uh, yeah. Cuba did not escape from yeah, <laughs> from yeah. that influence. No, not at all. I mean, we were I mean hiding CDs, and at that time was cassettes. Mm -hmm. So, but <laughs> but we follow him, and that was a privilege. I mean, what did you learn from him? What well, why I didn't learn, from, well, I don't learn from him. So he he was amazing. I mean, he uh, I was a very I pl I played with intuition. I mean, I, I was very you know whatever I feel I was expressed, and I was very my passion with passion. And Manuel showed me how to control this. Mm -hmm. That was for me was like. Another another chapter in my in my performing, in my career because I I, I didn't know how to to manage that yeah. that situation. So technically, um, how to breathe, how to listen music, how to to phrase, how to be able to sing uh, with the instrument that was the main thing that helped me the most. And, yes, and of course, you, you, you studied all of these things that you mentioned. In the yeah. these are the things that changed the world of guitar. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 and I try to avoid mm -hmm. uh, uh, watching guitarists, by the way. <laughs> 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 I, I listen to pianists, I listen to uh, orchestra. I, I, I encourage my students all the time. I make comparisons. I said, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. the guitar is there. I mean, you can even watch it, but listen to good music. The, the I mean, it's not that the guitar is a bad music. Don't get me wrong. So. Also, how much guitar can anybody take? That's it. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah after, after, <laughs> so after two. Yeah. Two hours is enough. <laughs> so, uh, well, uh, Rafael, now getting back to uh, some of the questions at uh, the GFA mm -hmm. and, of course, in the competition, uh, how will the performers be judged and by whom? Well, you know, I don't have that information, but uh, I mean, th it's pretty much the artists that are coming. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, um, a top guitarist like uh, Marcin Dilla mm -hmm. is coming, um, Jamandu Costa, I don't know if you know him, he's a great, great. Uh, uh, Brazilian guitar player, eight, eight string, eight string mm -hmm. guitar, or no, seven string guitar, and he's amazing. He will be performing with um, Dean Berg. Uh -huh. I mean, we, they were having a conversation, and Shelly Berg is an amazing pianist, and he's my dean. So, wonderful. So, well, how important is it to win the uh, the GFA uh, competition? Wow. I think this is important. It's, it's another. It's a it's a big jump between um, the young career that um, the winner could have now. So after all this, after that winning, he will have 50 concerts around the world. So this will be a, uh, one of the prices. Yeah, 50 co concerts around 50 the world. Around the world. A and recording contract. A recording contract. I mean, recording with Naxos. Uh huh. With Naxos. With Naxos. Uh, so I think it's, it's, a, it's a great, great, great. Plus uh, financial or monetary. Yes, uh, monetary. I don't. I'm not sure if it's ten thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars around there. Yeah. The in in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. winners, past winners of the GFA competition, mm -hmm. um, how has uh, their careers been impacted in terms of uh, being able to move forward as yeah. a career? Uh, have all of them been successful, all the past winners of or some of them only? Yeah, well, I mean, I don't have exactly the information, but I always, um, talking about competitions, competitions, it, it give you a, a status, um, give you a concerts, give you, uh, I mean, People get to know get to know you, but at the end of the day, is uh, what you do with your career. I mean, um, there's so many guitars that never won a, a prize, an international prize like this, and they're making an amazing career. One example is 
Lukas, Lukaszewski. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, but, but Barragos, from yeah. the student, this yeah. is great. I mean, he's, mm -hmm. for me, he's one of the best uh, career now, right now. And, and he, well, what, what, but, what, but what options do students have who are not, uh, uh, do, who don't, don't enjoy uh, uh, competing? And we know from many of the great musicians in the world, uh, you know, on any instruments, and many dislike competitions and yes. have, in fact, avoided them. Yes. What, what are the I options mean, today I'm for a young player other than competitions? Uh, in my opinion, I think the guitarist, I mean, the, the, the guitar in, in, in general, need to, to grow, you need to, to go out, to, to, to play chamber music, to play with other instruments, to play, uh, um, I mean, to develop itself. So get out a little bit of the small world that is the guitar world, in a, in a, in a way. Because, I mean, that's what, my point is that that's the career, that when the career turns in a, in, a better, in a better way. So um, when you are able to do things uh, that with great musicians, uh, you know, like you are top, uh, mm -hmm. I think that will develop more uh, the instrument, and, and in my opinion. The, uh, now, besides the, uh, the GFA competition itself and uh, uh, performances by some of the top mm -hmm. guitarists in the world, what other events are going to uh, surround the GFA competition? Oh, yes. Lectures? Uh, uh, there conferences? will be lectures. There will be a bender fair, which is amazing. Uh -huh. All the the best luthiers in 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 the world. So guitar makers are guitar coming. Guitar making are coming. Uh, editions, um, guitar. I mean, s strings, uh, books, um, a lot of information. I mean, everything will be there. For I mean, this is amazing. Will the main competition itself be held at Gosman Hall? Or yes, at Gosman at Hall. Yeah. That How good are, are the acoustics uh, at Gosman Hall? They're for good uh, for this. Yeah, they're good. It's good. We have we have had. Um, um, uh, um, experience from the past, and we had a competition in March, and that was wonderful. So the, the sounds it's sounds not wonderful. There won't be a no, microphone. Be, no, no, microphone no, no. no need for that. No need for that. No. Well, Rafael, thank you so much. We wish you the best oh, thank you. Uh, with the GFA competition and uh, your performances and your career and thank continued you. success at the University of Miami. And we look forward to continuing working with our students and UM. And it's been a great pleasure to Thank have you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And we'll be back in, uh, with another episode of our talent soon. Thank you for watching. I'm Juan Carlos Vera.